Ooh, looks like we got some goodies for the brat. Yeah, our Eastwood material showed up. Let's get after some body work. Yeah, let's do it. Well, this is some of the product that uh, we're going to be using today. Mostly this premium body filler and uh, of course some blocks and I do have a primer gun but I think we're probably just going to be using this aerosol uh, and or the roll-on primer. So with that being said, I brought you a present. I can't wait to start. <laughs> Yeah, it's just screwing up. Okay, so scoop up some. Get your body English ready and get ready to spread it. So just go ahead. Big one. I'll hold this. Okay. And you just start spreading. Okay, now get a bigger wad. There you go. Nice. Now go go long with it and get a bigger wad. Scoop it up. Cut it. Cut it from right here. Cut it from right there. Yep, and scoop that. Yep, and then spread it. Do it again. Do it again. See how see how I caught it. I get the movement though of it. I want to see how we're going up on it. Why is it all clumpy? Is it part of the underneath frying? Well, as you can see, it's not the easiest to do. No. Spreading Bondo is just something it's an art form. I'm not really great at it. And with the timing and the actual technique that it takes with such a big panel, if we were just doing like door dings and stuff like that, it would be much easier. But with such a big space to cover, um, I think this is something that I'm gonna probably have to address. And then I'll get you doing some of the smaller things like okay. on the doors and on the hood and everything because we wasted a lot of material. So we'll sand this down and uh, I'll do a nice skim over this stuff and then I'll get you uh, on the blocking tip. Sounds good. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I think we salvaged it. I think so too. Oh, my nose ring almost got pulled out. Now we just got to block it. Yeah. You're going to run this even. Okay. Back and forth. Okay. Like we did at John's place. So bit, nice, nice uh, smooth strokes. Go the distance. Hold it two hands and go back and forth and get all the high spots down. Nice and slow. So as you can see, there's a low there's a, spot there, low spot, spot here, high spot, high spot. So concentrate on the high spots and knock those high spots down like here. Not so much here, but more so here okay. and here. So, yep.
So we got majority of the bondo and blocking done on the rear. Now I started addressing the doors. We have a couple dings here, a couple dings here, and then along the bottom here. Also, we have some dings on the front fender. And the same on this front fender here. And some little door dings here and there. I'm just gonna do some light skimming of Bondo on some of these spots, like down in here. It's a little wavy right here. It's been an all day thing though. I don't think I'll have time today to uh, primer it, but I'll definitely get it all bagged up and taped up and ready for primer. And then we'll put primer on it tomorrow. Bondo and blocking. Fun stuff. Well, Paris and I spent all day yesterday spreading Bondo and blocking this brat. So I have a couple more spots to do right now. Paris had to go off to work. So I still have to do the tailgate. And then I'm gonna start bagging up this bed we're gonna spray that with primer. All this is gonna be primer. And we're gonna be using Eastwood's roll-on primer. And I'm really looking forward to that because it doesn't get overspray everywhere. This is also the type of stuff that you deal with when a car has been repainted. And that's the result of bad prep work. Well, due to the bad prep job that this car previously had on its paint job, I had to strip the whole tailgate and I'm just gonna have to rework all the body work that they had done originally to it as well. And another thing that I'm finding is as I get closer to priming, I need to go back through and better scuff up these edges where they didn't and you can see where the paint is chipping away. So that means I need to hit all these edges so that my paint sticks and doesn't flake up due to their lack of prep work. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning off all this trim where I'm gonna be taping off so I can spray the primer here in the, inside the bed. Also, I'm gonna tape off this bed liner seam here. Well, I got it all bagged up. And look who showed up. Me! I'm using this Eastwood 2K aerosol. It's a primer, it's two in one. You smash the bottom of the can and it actually mixes it. And I don't know, we have about six cans of this. Yeah. Sprays like a paint gun, that's what it says. I did dust on a little bit of self etching primer before I applied this. So, Paris, are you ready to uh, finally see your brat in primer? Is that even a question? So satisfying. Okay, now I'm just gonna go and get some of the edges that the um, roll-on primer won't get. That's it for the inside of the bed and 
a little bit of the edging on the outside of the car. Now let's uh, see if this Bondo's dry and I got to do some blocking and start primering the outside of the car. All right, we're, uh, we're losing daylight here. We have about an hour left and I want to get this car primed and done. So we are actually using this roll-on primer and we have the activator here. It's four to one ratio. So I'm going to mix this up and start rolling. Dude, it feels so weird to roll on paint on a car. Sit, I'm sure let it sit and dry. Kind of weird. Well, Paris is having to go at it now. Goes on pretty good, huh? Yeah, it, it, it feels a little weird. <laughs> but it's fun. All right, just try to speed up here because we're running out of daytime. And then we'll go back over. Yeah. Wow. This actually looks really good. And that's just one coat. It's coming along. All right, I'm going to get this going right here then. How are you doing? How are you liking it? Good. It's really easy. It's pretty cool, huh? It's so nice. All right, I'm going to put this down. You get the idea because we got to hustle. Well, we got primer on. It's getting dark, but we got one and a half coats of gray primer. Yeah. And it looks damn good. Oh my God, it's like a different car right now. Oh my gosh. If you guys can see with the light, it's one color. Ah, I'm so tired. Now this is just primer. We're still not done. We still have a lot of body work to do. We still have to properly attach the flares and get it ready for final paint. But Paris and I can't be more excited on the progress that we've both made. I've been super busy. Our goal is to get this car ready for Subi Fest here in California in October. I just got back from Wicked Big Meat. That edit's coming. Look forward to that. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.